We've talked about who are the secret trial five. They are uh, suitable enemies of the contemporary context. They are Arab Muslim uh, men. Uh, and the KIHC was built as a prison for Arab Muslim men. So, you know, I use access to information a lot to get access to a lot of the, the documents around the construction of this facility. And one of the things you actually had in one of the documents, it was a draft document, was the, uh, the suggestion that the facility itself uh, should be oriented specifically so it's to facilitate praying towards Mecca, right? Which on the face of it actually sounds like the government of Canada is engaging in a, in a very forward-thinking um, process of accommodation, right? I mean, they know who they're going to be putting in prison. They want to make sure the prison is built with, you know, their needs in mind. But when you step back a second, this means that we've essentially created a prison for Muslims. That was what it was purposed for. That was, it's the only time in Canadian history, I think, we've actually built the prison around the detainees, uh, around the profile of detainees, and it was built to profile. Um, it, you know, KIHC has a specific menu. It was, it had, uh, consultations with the Muslim community in Kingston around the construction of a menu. It had uh, the provision of spiritual services that were specifically geared towards that population. So it was built with that population in mind. Um, I think that's incredibly problematic. You know, I think the idea when you're building prisons to, to order around populations you've profiled and they're detaining without trial, uh, that's a very problematic thing to be doing. And this is one of the things that worries me is it's become a model for how to do this kind of you know, indefinite detention type thing. Uh, and that's one of the things that really spooks me out about security certificates is that they really have an impact in the institutions that are involved in them. Um, I wouldn't have thought before uh, 2006 that I would see a situation where the Correctional Service of Canada was involved in the provision of long-term indefinite detention without charge or trial, less, much less conviction services. That seemed to be very bizarre. That's what got me into this research in the first place. So, uh, you know, certificates allow for this kind of thing to happen. They create spaces of exception that start to become the normal life of institutions.